Giving gifts can be tricky when you don't know what someone wants, especially if you're not a gift-giving ninja, or the type of person who takes mental notes every time someone mentions something that they really like. So, a couple weeks ago, I asked my English teacher friends on Instagram to tell me what they would actually want to receive during the holidays. And now, I'm gonna simplify the gift-giving process for you, for the teacher in your life. So whether you're buying for your child's teacher, a coworker, a teacher friend, or a family member who may be a teacher, this list will absolutely leave you equipped with quality gift ideas that will leave your recipient feeling all the feels. Now, before I get into this, I wanna point out two important things. Number one, teachers do not expect gifts, and this is in no way, shape, or form suggesting you must spend money to give a gift to a teacher. These upcoming suggestions are purely to give you ideas. No matter what you choose to give, it will be highly appreciated trust me. And if you stay tuned to the end, you'll find that the best gift anyone can ever offer a teacher for the holiday season is totally free. So let's get into the list, just after you click the like and subscribe buttons right below this video. Okay, so coming in at number 10 is what we call the classroom gift. We're talking about classroom decor, classroom art, or books for the classroom library, stuff like that. Check with your teacher and see what he or she wants, or make your best guess based on what you know. My students know that anything Batman or Harry Potter will go right up on the walls, or hang right from the ceiling, so that's what I get most often. Number nine is the school supply gift. No teacher can really ever have enough tissues, nice pens, lined paper, expo markers, or post-it notes. We might as well throw thumbtacks on that list too. Teachers geek out over this stuff, and it's actually really practical. Much more useful than a fruitcake, by the way. All right, at number eight, we have the book gift. Now this is different than the number 10 books for the classroom library thing because it's a bit more thoughtful. To do this right, think about a book you really think your teacher will like and send it in his or her direction. I've received a few of these over the years and they have been absolutely incredible. Here's a tip when giving something like this. Write a quick note in the cover as to why you think your teacher's going to like it and then you'll be gifting like a pro. Okay, coming in at number seven is the gift gift. We're talking about cool or funny mugs, candles, even though they can never be lit in the classroom, most skin notebooks, cozy blankets, you know, the classics. All right, at number six, we have the personalized gift. We're talking about a basket of your teacher's personal favorite stacks, custom stationery, mugs with their initials on it, custom tumblers, and honestly, you can even personalize classroom items from yourself, like one of my former students who created a tissue holder based off the running joke that we had in class. We now refer to tissues as nasal blankets in the Garden of English classroom, and I have an official holder to prove it. Number five, ah, 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 is the unique gift. See some unique art relating to your teacher's favorite author or books that they've mentioned? Grab it. Maybe you work at a movie theater and you have access to movie posters or cutouts that are literary in nature. Those are awesome to get. And gift certificates to local or indie bookstores are especially cool for this type of gift. Oh boy. Number four is a classic. This one is called the chocolate gift. Homemade fudge is always amazing. Assorted and custom chocolates, still cool. The classic Hershey bar, meh. All right, coming in at number three is the no-brainer for any teacher. It's the coffee or favorite drink gift. Tim Hortons, Dunkin', Starbucks, whatever is popular where you are is probably good enough. Caffeine is caffeine. But find out what's in that mug that the teacher has all the time and supply whatever that is. Maybe you have a tea drinker, or if you're like me, it's a kombucha kind of thing. I actually hate coffee, so if I ever get these types of gifts, I just send them my wife's direction. As we're close to the end of our countdown, we're gonna look at number two, and number two is the gift card. You can get creative about the options here. Just be thoughtful. Amazon, Old Navy, Sephora, iTunes, Target, bookstores, gas, groceries, movies, restaurants, Disney vacation, trip to Universal, those are all nice things. All right, the last two were hyperbolic. But did you know that you can get most of the gift cards that I mentioned before right on Amazon? And they're actually all linked right below. So you don't even have to go searching for them. I've already done the work for you. But now it's time for the big reveal. What is the number one gift that you can give the teacher in your life? Honestly, folks, few things stir up the emotions like number one. Number one is the sentimental gift. There is honestly nothing that teachers appreciate more than authentic thank you notes from students and parents, hand-drawn art, collages of pictures, anything of the sort, perhaps even a shout-out video on YouTube. Sky's the limit here. I actually love these types of gifts so much 
I take every note that students or parents give me and I put them up on my wall. And they help remind me why I do what I do when teaching gets hard. And trust me, it can. No homemade jam reminds me of that, but these gifts can. Now, if after this list you are still unsure of what to get, there's one simple thing that you can do to get the perfect gift every single time. Just ask that teacher in your life. And I'm gonna assume that you're gonna ask me what's the perfect gift that you can get me. And I'm gonna tell you right now, a like and a subscribe right down below. That's it. It's that easy. Have a beautiful holiday season.